This is Basketball Infinite. Make sure to like and subscribe and ring, ring, ring that bell for notifications. All right, so J. Cole has gone from playing at Lifetime Fitness, putting up 45 points a game, to playing in the NBA. That's right, NBA Africa. And he is playing for a team in Rwanda. And I am more than excited to see what this stud muffin can do. As Shams reported, he is signing three to six games to play with Rwanda, with the first game being this weekend. Holy macaroni, I am super excited. Someone made a meme on Twitter that he's going to be playing like Julian Newman, ha ha ha. Here is J. Cole, exclusive footage from Africa Fact Zone in Rwanda. Fans are making jokes about their end of the bench players going over to play in NBA Africa with him. As you can see, he could potentially put up Wilt-like numbers. And the Lakers fan right here took it a little too far saying Andre Drummond was going to go over there. So he played the sport as a kid, but he didn't make the team until he was a junior. He tried out as a walk-on at St. John's, which is a Division I school. And apparently, according to him, he almost made the team. As he stated himself, I had a fear of actually making the team and quickly losing my college lifestyle. I would have had to turn into this guy who had to practice two to three times a day and wake up at six in the morning. Plus, I was in love with the music and I knew I wanted to rap, so I had to make a decision that I knew was going to change the trajectory of my life. I called my coach from high school, I called one of my friends who was a star player in high school, and I didn't go the next day. In my mind, I'd have made the team. Who knows what would have really happened, but I knew I wasn't ready for that type of commitment and that lifestyle. I think it's a good thing to say that he probably made the right decision sticking to music because he is a number one seller right now who is about to release an album this weekend. And per Bleacher Report, he was actually a practice player with the women's team at St. John's. As one of the players said, my freshman year, Cole would play with the women's team consistently. He was competitive and physical, but he never tried to hurt us or anything like that. Sometimes guys who practice with the women's team are there to just showboat and be nasty and mean, but he was never like that. He was very nice and respectful. I thought he was decent. His best thing was just getting to the basket because he's kind of tall and long. Finishing around the basket, he could shoot a little bit, more like a flasher. I would describe him as a flasher. Now, this just goes to show you that J. Cole definitely has some talent. And what we're about to watch is his 2012 celebrity game performance back when he didn't have as much hair as he does now. And here he is probably the only celebrity to ever finish an alley-oop dunk in the celebrity game. And as you can see here, in slow motion, his head nearly gets on the rim. He's bringing the house down. But if you want to take a look at him now in his mid-30s, you can see in this practice session that he has more bounce now than he does back then. I am really excited to see what J. Cole can do in Rwanda. Can he win the MVP of the NBA Africa League? I would definitely place your bets on it.